let's open server manager and click on add roles and features next 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 and as we can see i already have the framework 4.5 installed of course if you are not you need to install it and let's open the service snap in and we need to make sure that uh, windows remote management is running win rm after that i will install the assessment kit so let's go to the iso process and pick the right version of course this is the windows assessment and deployment kit for windows 8.1 i would recommend it to always check yes okay we don't need all of these we just need the selected checkbox there's only two selection and this version because we're using windows server 2012 r2 okay of course it will take some time after that i will need to install a new prerequisite which go for sql and then need client run from my computer and also install command line utilities all of that are prerequisite for system center virtual machine manager 24 hour okay now we install that then we will install the sql server so let's go mount the iso i using the enterprise edition here and of course you can use a standard edition I recommend it to send the Microsoft feedback. It is good of course to check for updates. The default and then I just need the database engine and of course the management tool. That's uh, enough. default instance everything went well then install Just, I would prefer to change this to automatic I add the current user all the time to be an admin and TFS service and I have system center virtual machine manager admins group which is include TFS service as a member always send to Microsoft this will help solve any problems in the future now the SQL server installed successfully and all prerequisites are installed 